Some of you are probably wondering why, for a good while, I was filming vlogs using my mobile phone. <laughs> filming vlogs on my mobile phone is because the camera that I use to make these vlogs it's Nikon D3300 it's not really the type of camera that's easy on the hands when you're vlogging like this one would be I wouldn't be able to turn my hand around like this and vlog properly because after a few minutes it will start to take its toll on my hand and I have filmed before using my hands and I do have steady hands but it, it it's not very fun. It's not designed for vlogging. It's more designed to be put on a tripod and film like I'm doing right now. So it led me to, I realised, it was more of an experiment filming my phone. I wanted to see could I keep it up. And I realised, okay, so there's going to be videos of me sitting in a room talking about subjects, and then there's going to be videos of me out and about. So it led me to buy this the Sony HD Handycam, 9.2 megapixels. Not 4K. Uh, this camera here is good for what I use it for. You know, as you can see, I put my hand on here. Open the side from here. Turns on. It takes me a while to win the focus. I can just watch playback videos. I can also look at myself, you know, like this. And it just makes vlogging easier. I can't do that with this camera here. I can't. So I'm going to take a video here and I'll incorporate this into the vlog. So what you're seeing right now is the DSLR that I film my vlogs with in my room. Now you imagine carrying that away while vlogging. It's bulky. Not a bad camera. I found it from 2016. I used Christmas money and birthday money to buy it. See how handy that is. I'm glad I bought this in time, you know, whenever I went to Dublin. You know, this is exactly what I needed. I did have one of these before, and what happened was I carry these cameras in a pouch strapped to my belt. Like this. Get in. And what happened to the previous camera? is that I was sitting down and my stomach was bloated and I undid my belt and forgot that I'd undone my belt as our friend's house stood up and the weight of the camera pulled the belt like that fell and hit the floor this camera the camera still the camcorder still turns on that one there but uh, it damaged the lenses it wouldn't focus it's all like you still see what the point not the problem is uh it, it won't go into focus anymore it's damaged the internal mechanism that uh controls the lens and moves them in and out so what i like about these vlogs it was actually a friend who put the idea of vlogs into my head i always did one vlog years ago but i just never really could think about and talk about it. i didn't think people would want to give a shit I would rant on Facebook or share my theories on Facebook with films and TV shows and I realised, you know, why don't I just save this for YouTube? People that actually do want to hear it. You know, for example, Saw, Sparrow. And he, he put the idea for vlogs in my head. Uh, at first I, I said to him, if I was to make a vlog, I would have to be doing something worthwhile showing. And then I thought to myself, I might just try it. You know, I'll take the phone out, I'll vlog what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and just go about my day, and then look back at the footage and just see, you know, is it worth anything? And I realised, you know, this is something that uh, in 10 years' time, I'm going to look back at and be like, oh yeah, that was me, that's what I was doing at the age of 29, 30, and that's the state my mental health was in. <laughs> no way joking. It's fun to look back on, and it's something if you ever have kids, or much younger siblings, you know, they can look back on it as well and see what you were doing this time. Because how often is it that you get to see 
you know, what your parents or grandparents were doing in their youth. At the very most, you'll just see a Polaroid photograph of them in their youth, in the moment. Whereas our generation, you know, we have, we, we now have cameras, we can vlog what we're doing. You know, really good stuff. Then I decided to give it a shot. And you know what? My, I know, my, my channel's not popular. I'm not famous. And do you know something else? I'm glad. I'm glad I can walk out the door to the shop and I don't have any psycho crazy fans shouting Jamie Lee Sturt or coming up to me and taking selfies. I'm glad I can actually walk the shop and back. Ironic, isn't it? It's ironic that, you know, my field of interest, which is film and photography, you know, a part of it, like, if you do well enough, you become famous. And it's the opposite of what I'm looking. You know, I just like to create content. It's fun, it's therapeutic, it's a hobby. This channel has been through major changes over the years. Different, it's gone, this is, it's gone in a completely different direction compared to the videos I made whenever I was younger. It, it kind of feels like, you know, at this point, I'm in like my own <laughs> spin-off videos in my own channel. That's what it feels like. God, I wish I had a vlog sooner. So many things I could have talked about, so many experiences I could have shared with you guys, and so many things I could have looked back on because I have no, you know, memories that they're all in my head. You know, there's, there's nothing on film, but you know what? It's the memories and experiences I have that count more, and they're the most important parts. I wasn't happy with the quality of the videos on my phone because I know I can do better, <laughs> but I didn't really have much of a choice. I could have brought, I, I could have brought this camera down. I could have. But it was more or less I couldn't be arsed. I couldn't be. And it's not like I was filming something. It wasn't it's not like I was making a film. The videos are like letterboxes. And it's better if you watch the videos on, you know, a widescreen smart TV. As opposed to watching them on a mobile phone. But you can't really see we can see what's going on, but the viewing experience is much better if you watch them on a bigger TV. The video that I was making, you know, Nobody's really going to go out of their way to watch them. The only ones that are interested in my videos are family and friends. I, I don't believe the rest of the world. The views and likes, comments never really appeal to me. It's more, I just enjoy doing what I'm doing. It's fun. And that's all that matters. Support your local YouTubers. <laughs> Support your local businesses. Don't harass us when you see us out and about. Some of us will walk on, so we'll also give you a good deck. Where people do we have emotions. Well, hoping that clears that up for those that are probably going around asking each other why is Jamie using his phone to vlog? That's why.